tell me oh. about that one yet. Hey, why did you do that? You can't hit me at point blank range, you're so slow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye now. Like the fathers of your grandfather. You... <laughs> the next shot, the cameraman's in the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in college. <laughs> We both fucked up. What the hell is this? I've seen one of those before. <laughs> yeah? Who is this? It's Phil Davis. Phil oh, his name is Phil! <laughs> Fuck you! Phil this Davis. just made the movie! I am normal American man! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, he's confused. You bastard. Well, the, the other movie is the yeah, one with Shane Simmons and Drag, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he's gonna be a ninja now. It's ninja time. He's ninja. got a ninja book! He's got his ninja book. <laughs> Terrible ninja! <laughs> <laughs> All right. starts out like this and they get oh, oh my god <laughs> I, I want this for 90 minutes <laughs> oh, <it> exploded somehow <laughs> Never found an old lady being shot so far. He's not gonna do anything clever ever, is he? He's just gonna walk up to people with a flamethrower yeah. and burn them. Also, how did he know they were there? It's so blatant, I love it. <laughs> he just walks into fruit. There's a there's a dumb <laughs> bluntness to it, yeah. Oh, it looks like she's working on landing that car. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, slow down there, baby. Road's <laughs> worst stripper contest. <laughs> <laughs> He's in first place. Oh, so twitchy. It's amateur night. It's amateur night. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a rifle? <laughs> it's like if the kid from Home Alone were to build a death truck. <laughs> if Charisma were sugar, he would be Coke Zero. Nunchucks? Cause 80s. Touche. Also, breakdancing might, might happen at any time. Yeah. Breakdance fighting? Oh, it could be. Or... See? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just called that. That's amazing. <laughs> breakdancing just might happen. Maybe that was like the first thing they filmed, and then after that he got diagnosed with MS? <laughs> is, is that possible? <laughs> oh, God. That would explain everything. Now this movie is the saddest movie. <laughs> Do you think this movie was an Andy Kaufman prank? <laughs> Ophthalmologist. Okay. Ophthalmologist performs What's his final... Ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologist. That's a porno line. Hey, sexy. Hot amateur girls are ready to get off for you. And you're like, how do I get a Puppet Master toy? <laughs> <laughs> a great idea! Fish monsters! Uh. <laughs> um. Oh, is he there? I knew it! <laughs> 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 
Who's he gonna be fucking? Who's he? Is he on the lady? Yeah. Oh, he's on the lady. He's in between the doers. Now, why are they naked? Don't turn around. <laughs> Around. Whatever. <laughs> Bet you're wishing for some Ray Bans now. That's right. You're gonna die. <laughs> you built the problem. That was the, the line of the movie there. Come to smoke. Oh, what? Oh, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. what? what? <laughs> That's all you get. Oh my <laughs> god. That was the climax. That, that was their other dimension. That was it. Yes, there it was. was a triangle. Her mouth didn't. She can moan without moving her mouth. She's like a ventriloquist for porno. But you'll never see. Oh my god. No one was safe, even behind locked doors, glistening globes of girl who drew them up from the doubt. <laughs> Can we watch this movie? Yeah. yeah. We don't stop these creatures. No women with big tits will be safe anywhere. <laughs> hey! Seriously, Let's turn the movie great. off. Well, I don't see how I could right. have known that. I'll take care of this myself. It's much safer that way. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> made a joke. Cover your penis. Oh! <laughs> she just got her period. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> he basically used her as a conduit, I guess, to change from alien to human. No! 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 needed to give you some background on this fucker. Yeah. Who is this guy? Why is he so he's crazy? He's just an action hero. He knows how to do this all because he's action hero man. Maybe there will hey, be okay, some later. This. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> look out guys, he's got a stick! <laughs> we need to figure out what just happened. Let's unload and hit the jacuzzi. <laughs> 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 Run. You're gonna die. Yeah! Right. Again! <laughs> Are we gonna hear you're gonna die in every movie we ever watch now? Friend or enemy? I'm a friend. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! This is the best character in the movie. Oh, yeah. Long shot. Why'd you even bother asking me? This is taking a weird direction. Take off your shirt before I come You're gonna off. have to take my wife's place. <laughs> 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 you would leave a movie like that as you should with a good feeling. Yeah. Yes. Instead, you're like, oh. Yeah. It's like Mass Effect 3. What's his name? Hogan! Colonel Hogan! Wait, don't tell me! <laughs> Enough talk. <laughs> Let's make out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys shut up. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? That was a snake. The snake was amazing. Okay. Absolutely. Amazing. Absolutely. If it were in a Muppet movie, it would be amazing. <laughs> uh oh. The best part about this is that there was multiple crates with snakes in them in this airport. There were numerous. <laughs> yeah. Why do they have so many giant snakes? All of a sudden, when there are no, there have never been any snakes on the island. To make a point of that, yeah. now there are two snakes. We had a snake delivered here for the Department of Health. Now that snake has been infected by deadly toxins from cancer-infested rats. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, no! Come on! No. Come on! <laughs> I love that he 
he delivered that line like he was making it up as he went along? He's been infected by cancer-infected rats. No, which would make it which would make it highly uninfectious. Right. That, that would make it dead. Yeah. Well, you can't catch cancer. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I want someone to explain any of that to me. Turn, you wouldn't believe it. Roddy fired six shots at the guy. When they get in this van, all of a sudden they realize, oh my god! Hey, did we kill Seth? We didn't kill Seth? Who got that bastard Seth? We forgot! <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> they just forgot! Please let him get up again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the snake was waiting for that or was it just a coincidence? No, no, no. That would have been great if he drove through the wall and just ran her over. <laughs> Oh, shit! Oh, oh. Oh, oh, Maybe man. I didn't think this through. <laughs> Takes the rocket launcher and puts it up to his chin. You know, <laughs> if this movie ended like Deadly Prey, that's what would have happened. He would have been like, I fucking killed my new lady friend. I... But there's lots of shirtless dudes in that too, because, yeah. you know, he wants to please everybody. Um... <laughs> my father! I found my father! <laughs> They're all shirtless and happy. Holy crap. No! Oh, yep, yep. Yay! Yay! Fathers! This should be the end of the movie. <laughs> I would be okay with that. <laughs> and then the very end of the movie, after they have reveled in the blood of their enemies, <laughs> is a little title card. YK Kim had a vision of a movie and it came to life and his vision is a is a horrible glory. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And in Candid Camera, volume six. Let's go. Our next sequence might be called Why I Like to Be Nude. <laughs> I think we, oh my god. <laughs> what is oh god, are, are they gonna involve children now? <laughs> oh no! No, he's just introducing you to his best friend. Watch this awkward 12 year old boy react. This naked women come in his bedroom. <laughs> my pants need changing. <laughs> they should make a video about rap safety. <laughs> Don't rappers get killed a lot? <laughs> the time has come for us to dance. Uh. <laughs> okay, the time has come for me to shut this off. Fully, the original love that created this new life. This work is a call to remember. This was shot on the other side of the conference center that Alan Pond shot his video. Every heart, wings, and belly. Why don't they slap me in the face with more feminist bullshit? Oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh that was perfect timing! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no! Oh, that's gonna make a hit, all right. <laughs> you know, I just smoked some crap <laughs> at the bus stop, and now this is happening. You know, you know what? It, you know what? It's a window into though. It's a window into the sad, depressing last years of Alan Funst. <laughs> And his obviously failed battle with alcoholism <laughs> and his desperate need for money. Yeah. I would love to find out when this was made and when he died. Because yeah. I gotta imagine it's within the year. Wait, there's less smoke. Oh, no, the the smoke. Oh, I hope they all die. <laughs> I could have used this video because when I was younger, mm. I almost burned down my grandmother's house cooking French fries. Just like the kid in the video almost burned down his grandmother's house. I didn't throw water on it. Uh, I was just 
my first instinct was the kitchen had a back door. It was my first instinct was to throw it out the back door into the snow. Instead, I just burned my hands and dropped burning grease all over the house. <laughs> the kid picks up the frying pan to throw it out the door, but he burns his hand on the red hot handle, drops the pan, and the fire spreads even more. Maybe fire burned all those hair off. <laughs> Rich, what were your favorite parts of Let's Ramp About Fire Safety? Uh, yeah. Probably the, the fire alarms, eyes shaking. Back and forth, that whenever they press your favorite the part? I have no favorite part. <laughs> What's the, the, the crappy CGI. Well, that's the thing though, for 2000, the CGI in this was appalling. <laughs> I would expect more from Allstate. <laughs> <laughs> Be cool. Dance of Birth is the greatest movie that David Lynch never made. <laughs> um, the like a painter preparing her palette of colors before <laughs> making a painting, we prepare our bodies before opening. Oh, I wonder how many babies died in the womb because of this video. We had a lot of babies born with shaken baby syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> and breathing out, oxygenating our womb space. It's <laughs> <laughs> your womb space, it's your womb. <laughs> it's absolute nonsense packaged as wisdom. But the babies looked embarrassed. <laughs> like the baby is just... <laughs> the poor baby is trying to escape. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> I want my real mom. Or, or it could be a warning that like, you know what, you can do all the, the hippie dancing you want, you still may give birth to Alan Funt. <laughs> <laughs> Why I like to be nude. And don't burn yourself to death. Tell your parents to be cool about Rich. Candid camera volume six is a... <laughs> <laughs> it's a cesspool of human filth. <laughs> <laughs> It represents the worst of humanity. <laughs> uh, absolute yeah. worst of humanity. It was, uh, yeah, uh, desperation on the part of the people that decided to release this on video. Desperation of the people who just wanted a fucking job. And people that wanted a job and were denied that and because and they ended up being, and, yeah. yeah. The, the desperation of Alan Funt who just wanted booze. Yeah. Comedy, and making is... people feel terrible yeah. in the process. Can you imagine this without the laugh track? T can you? <laughs> It would be it would be like watching a snuff film. Okay, did you feel uncomfortable when you watched this? No, but El <laughs> Listen. Listen. What? Get Wait a second. Hold okay. on. Let me ask you Preg again. L pregnant women will get no value from this, but Elderly men will get to masturbate. <laughs> okay. So, so there is a service you know what? being provided. Elderly but men can't get erections. Why I like to be nude. See, this this is like going to church, okay? Yeah. Everybody, everybody, everybody gets together, they pretend there's a big man in the sky, and they go home feeling happy. Mm. You're saying dance of birth is like that? I'm saying like if you, it's like everybody, they buy into the new age yeah, thing, and they, you buy this because you're into that. that you're into that, you yeah. think you're getting some kind of value out of it, you, you go home, you undulate with your pregnant <laughs> belly, and you think it was money well spent. Yes, even if you are pregnant, there is room. <laughs> For what, another one? <laughs> Smile. You're on candid camera. After this, they're gonna be like, fuck this, we're going back to wars. <laughs> I would think wars would be much less expensive <laughs> than constantly having to build new giant robots. God. Are you from outer space? Um, yes. That's, it's not to say it's even horrible, though. I no, mean, it's not horrible. You, you, That's you, the problem. It's yeah. out there. I have no control. They've made me kill. Now listen carefully. You've got to get to Bert. Tell him to meet me tonight at the old art warehouse. Just do it, Lauren, and then leave this city immediately. I want you to get as far away as you can. 
You're behind me, aren't you? <laughs> I, I stopped paying any kind of attention a long time ago. I don't know what's going on. You knew what I did when you married me. No. You were an investigator when I married you, not, not a bodyguard. She is acting. I'll see you in hell. Get it. See you in hell. Speak, speak for yourself. You know, you say speak for yourself, but I think I can speak for everybody when I say that Rotor is the best movie that's ever been made by anyone. It's the <laughs> defining. <laughs> I, I had to call the suicide prevention hotline last night because of Road Tour. <laughs> <laughs> Road Tour is... They told me to do it. <laughs> um, uh, Rich. <laughs> I know it's your favorite, so why don't you ex explain Road Tour? Uh, Road Tour is about a police program to create a robot policeman who will execute people for minor traffic violations. <laughs> because this, the text was not enough. The text was not enough. <laughs> Listen, Wish. Womp womp. <laughs> <laughs> All this important information is out of the way. <laughs> I am so invested in this guy. Um, this robotic police officer is not meant to be ready and active for another 25 years. Mm -hmm. To 50 years. 25 to 50 years. It's a long-term project. He's working on him now. Um, and apparently everyone in this world is convinced that in 25 years, the future will just be like a, a, a cesspool. <laughs> Everybody in this world is just completely nihilistic and pessimistic and thinks that the world in 25 years is gonna be the type of environment where a robotic police officer should just murder everybody for every minor <laughs> violation. And the best way to uh, uh, sort of let the investors in this project know that this is a good thing is to show them a shitty eight millimeter film of a stop motion robot breakdancing. Uh, and doing some sweet taekwondo moves. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I remember that. That was. Uh... I love the video sledgehammer. <laughs> this movie just became worth it. That'll activate the chain and we can go down to the tank and trace the circuits by hand. What do you say? Yeah, cool. Uh... <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Never mind that. That's negative thinking. Think positive. I think we're positively crazy for even trying this. Right. <laughs> and that's the that's the importance of the scene. He's hungry. Horns are Rotor's only weakness. <laughs> okay, so this, this this robot was designed as a motorcycle cop. So we've got a traffic cop. But he can't handle horns. But he can't handle horns. <laughs> Rich. This seems like a Here's catastrophic design flaw. Rotor's out. I see. This is also the point where we discover that everybody wants to kill Rotor, regardless <laughs> of if they know that he is a violent, psychotic robot from the future. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, where we're at right now, things have been... <laughs> let, me, let me get my map. What's, what's the ending supposed to be, right? It's supposed to be the big climactic battle between good and evil. Right. Oh, look at the action sequence! Like, <laughs> in the background! <laughs> That's a gag! As, as I've said, the, the ending is like the Blues Mobile. Okay? <laughs> yes. Okay. It, it gets to the Daily Plaza and it just falls apart. <laughs>
So how do you rate something like this as best of the worst? I, I can't in good conscience pick either. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 because, because Robot Jocks, I mean, that, that's genuinely a good movie. It's not, not great, but it's genuinely good. Yeah, they're trying to make a and real movie. I'm not willing to call Rotor the, the best of anything. <laughs> It's 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 terrible. All it's terrible. All you have to do is, whilst you're editing these, look at the time codes for how long we talked about each. We talked about Rotor for four hours. Yes, I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And so, if you're talking about entertainment bang for your buck, yeah, Rotor gets the fucking clock. Would you call it entertainment? It's 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 dissection. <laughs> this is like this is like being in a lab and you've got the lab coat on. You're you're taking apart the movie with a scalpel when you're looking at it. No, it's not. This it's, this doesn't make any. But you sense. know what? I would rather do that than just go. The the only thing I can say for sure is I would like to destroy Cyber Tracker <laughs> because that movie has no value, good or bad. Cyber Tracker has a problem. It's gonna stop. We didn't even get to watch this movie. But fuck it, Bodie. We decided fuck it. Baby. Tell all your friends they can go my way, pay your toll, sell your soul.